Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week I am discussing things that have been inspiring me from things I'm reading, watching, listening to, eating, all of those good things. So let's get started. already finished this one by Dolly Alderton. I read it over Christmas. It's a library book so I'm about to bring it back but I think I might need to own my own copy. I've never really read a book that I resonated with so much and thought like this book is written for me. I think anyone in their like 30s, late 20s identifies with a millennial would really understand this, but she writes from this perspective of a 30 something and what she's kind of gone through up until that point around dating and relationships and friendships. And it's just so heartwarming, it's so good. I just really resonated with it because I'm 34 and I'm single and a lot of my 20s was spent, you know, kind of trying to figure out who I was, who I wanted to be with, feeling comfortable with myself. Also working through like friendships where a lot of my friends got married in their 20s. It felt a little isolating at times. So this was really good because it just kind of put everything into perspective and every few years she talks about what love felt to her at like 20 or 25 or 28. It's just such a good good read. I was crying laughing at certain parts. I um, particularly love these like short little excerpts she reads about or she writes from like it's like a joke from someone's perspective like one all about um, being invited to a wedding like congratulations you've been invited to this wedding you have to spend two hundred dollars at the registry if you're a creative only making twenty thousand pounds a year too bad it feels like a warm hug i'm on like this big kick of reading books that like are kind of essay style or like short stories so i could read a chapter a night and really dive into that chapter and not feel like i have to keep reading or lose where i'm at when i get to it the next day so that's what i loved about dolly alderton's book they were like chapter specific they did build on each other but they were kind of essay specific the other books that i love are the mary andrews series or just they're not a series her books her books it's I love Mari Andrews and I got this one I think two years ago when it came out um, and I don't know if you follow her Instagram. Her Instagram is all like illustration based um, and these are just like you can literally like just read a page or two. I love it. It's all about kind of her 20s and what it was like growing up in her 20s. And then she just came out with The Inner Sky, and this one is more, I would say, like essay style. There are a few, or sorry, illustrations throughout, but for the most part, it's more um, written, and this is more based in her 30s. So some really good, feel-good books for things like I don't know, I just feel like I'm resonating more with reading authors of my own age group. She does a weekly newsletter as well. You can subscribe on Facebook, but I think, I don't know, it comes to my email inbox. There is rarely like a subscription email that I read. This one is unbelievable. It's so good. Okay, also on the reading train, this is food related reading two cookbooks that I got for Christmas. I love my mom. She's always getting me like really inspiring things to read um, food wise. So the first one is Clean and Dirty. And this is by Gabrielle Lena Arsic. I'm sorry, I'm Lena. I'm very poorly um, saying your name. It is, it's gonna be like definitely a little bit more of a project. Um, but what it is, is it's, making drinks clean or dirty. So I'm trying to like cut down on my alcohol consumption, although you know I love a good spin the wheel cocktail challenge. These are recipes that you can make. You can make them either as a mocktail or as a cocktail. 
Um, it goes through making syrups, um, actually making your own like infused alcohols, but they're definitely like more of a complex cocktail, uh, like this rose geranium and rhubarb and pims. So you're making your own pims um, and there's some really interesting different uh, things in here. So what I wanna start doing I've decided for my friends, and I did mention this in an earlier vlog, is I wanna make them like a cocktail or some fancy drink for their birthdays. Um, so this will give me good inspiration for that. The other one is the Ready to Eat Vegetarian Party Food by Jessica Oldfield. Um, and this one is again, a really just beautiful visual book of different, recipes that you can bring to a party of sorts. I don't know about you, like in 2019, I think every month I had a dinner party. And then for 2020 and 2021, I had zero because of obvious pandemic situation. But this year I'm feeling like dipping my toe back into it. But even having one or two friends over for like a really nice meal, I'm really excited about this book and it is very inspiring. Things I've been listening to, I've been like really excited about podcasts again. I just got an e-bike and it's been amazing. I've been e-biking everywhere and when I, I know this is probably not safe, but when I'm on my bike, all I wanna do is listen to a podcast. The Mark Groves podcast is something I listen to like week by week. I also love Reset by Liz Tran. She has like 30 minute snippets um, episodes and they're very like mindful. I kind of like the Aaron and Sarah Foster's podcast. It's kind of like if you're wanting something that's just like in the background conversation, I do like listening to that one from time to time, although they can be a little deprecating and sometimes it can get a bit much, but it's fun as a background. I don't watch a lot of TV shows, but I have been finally catching up with This Is Us season five because season six starts soon. And oh my God, I can barely listen. To, I can barely watch more than one episode because it's so heartfelt. Like it sits with you for a bit. I just need time to like process each episode. Also been like loving just watching YouTube videos of like fellow vloggers. I love Claudia Sudeski and Rachel Nugent, Sophie from Sophisticated organization and also what I'm really excited Sophie is doing her six-month declutter challenge I just got the ebook and printed it out and it goes through like week by week what you're supposed to be decluttering oh I'm also like geeking out on tarot and astrology right now um, I love the quietest revolution I listen to her every month her overviews of, you know, horoscopes and stuff is pretty dead on. I just find it really interesting. It gives me like a fresh perspective. Esoteric Sky is pretty good too. He does like year forecasts. So I listened to the 2022 year forecast, which was really interesting. And then I love pulling my own tarot cards too. So I've got the work your light oracle deck and the seasons of witch which i pretty much like exclusively do now i do use like the standard uh rider tarot deck as well but these ones i find really fun um my mom also got me astrology books for christmas which is fun i am a sagittarius however i'm right on the cusp of capricorn and my moon is in capricorn so it's been fun to read those and i also listen to the spotify daily podcast and it does like a quick two minute or overview of your horoscope for the day. I mean, take all this stuff with a grain of salt, but I find it really fun. Something to just kind of like focus your energy towards. I don't know necessarily believe that it's like telling you your future, but um, it just gives you something to kind of like focus your energy on. And that's what I love about these card decks as well. Things I'm eating, like I'm trying to eat through my pantry still. I'm also really thinking of getting back into seed cycling, sinking, cycling. I follow Minimalist Baker. She has a really good recipe of like two blends. So I'm going to start putting that in some berries every morning and have that with 
you know, some yogurt, some oatmeal, something like that. I don't really like smoothies or things that are cold in the winter, um, but I do wanna up my greens. So I'm gonna try and find some really good hearty soups and maybe some like lukewarm smoothies if that's a thing. Um, so that's kind of what I've been eating and like lots and lots of casseroles. I think those are the main things this month, the things that have like inspired me. I can't really think of like other things I wanna see or do necessarily. January for me is like hunker down month, um, hibernate month. I'm gonna take lots of baths, saving money, trying not to go out very much, seeing friends for walks and things here and there, but keeping it quite light on the social front. Thanks for joining and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Please let me know what's inspiring you this month. Things you're seeing, smelling, tasting, eating, doing. I wanna hear them all. Thanks, see you next week.